Okay, so in this video we're going to show you how to program the drivers, um, the ACE programmable drivers using the um, computer app instead of the cell phone app. So once again, if you don't have the app installed, just go on the internet. Unfortunately, this uh, laptop doesn't have internet access. Um, go to our website. Come on. Go to our products, uh, programmable by Lady Drivers. Uh, choose whichever category you have. In this case, this is a 31. But the software works exactly the same for every uh, programmable driver, so it doesn't really matter. Download the non principal version. Once you download it, make sure you um, you zip it to a file somewhere else, not just in the in that exact download file. Uh, I always keep mine on the desktop. For example, right here, SD Tools, non principal. Yeah, so just create a new folder on your desktop, extract it to there. Um, then you're, you're going to want to have your Wonder Wand right here. Go ahead and plug that in. Open up the software. When you first uh, when you first open it, it should say uh, AC Wonder Wand right here. Hit Detect Product. If it's plugged in, it should say Detect Successful. Okay. And then you want to go to Select Model. This is the drop-down list of all the different models that we have. Uh, once again, it might not list your specific model number, so in that case, you want to choose the category of uh, your driver based on output power and output current. So, for example, um, this one here is a 31 driver with a max current output of 700 milliamps. So, if it's not, if uh, you can't see your specific model number, just look for the category in terms of power and current, max output power and current. But I think ours is listed here, yep. APOQ, okay. So first thing you want to do is um, put your Wonder Wand up to the NFC tag right over here, about right there. Hit read data, read successful. This is the code we have in there now. This is the current setting, 500 milliamps. So let's go ahead and set it to the max setting of 700 milliamps. Okay. And then hit write data. Okay. So that's basically all there is to it. I always like to read it after I write it, just to make sure it matches what I have down here. So hit read data. Okay. Codes are the same, the current values are the same, so that should be fine. So let's try it out. And you can see from the multimeter, we are in fact getting some 100 milliamps. 